Hello and welcome to the SACC Landscape Competition, the inaugural John Donahue Memorial. Uh, first of all, I would just like to thank everybody who participated. We had a fantastic response with almost 250 pictures, uh, some of which are really absolutely stunning. From the SACC point of view, it was brilliant that we got um, members participating in uh, many, many different clubs. And indeed, um, as we see at the end, there's winners from, I think, uh, eight or nine different clubs. I'd like to thank the uh, rest of the SACC committee, Ger, Ty, and Henry. Uh, they've always been there to support, and um, I hope you'll agree that the results were well worth the efforts that uh, we put into the competition. Uh, just a quick word, I'd like to thank Neely Curtin, who liaised with uh, John Downey's family uh, in, in order to get uh, permission in order that we uh, name this uh, competition after John. Um, although I only met John once, uh, very briefly a few years ago, I was aware of the great work that he had done and um, when we had uh, kind of put the bones together of uh, how this competition would run, it just felt very appropriate that uh, we honour John in this way. Um, and so I'd just like to thank again Neely and John's family for uh, allowing us to do that. Finally, um, I'd like to thank the judge, uh, David Noten, um, renowned landscape and uh, travel photographer David, um, took great care in going through all of the images. He uh, spent several weeks with them and um, he did a great job. Uh, so thanks very much, David. And to everybody, I know these are terrible times. Um, hopefully uh, things will get a bit better now that we've got a vaccine or it looks like we have a vaccine and we'll be able to get out and about again in the new year and uh, take some more incredible landscape photographs. Thank you.
good afternoon. Uh, I'm David Noten, uh, landscape and travel photographer. Um, I've been a photographer for 40 years professionally now. Uh, I have no idea how those 40 years passed so quickly, but uh, it was a great honor to be asked by Mark Gorman to um, judge your competition. And uh, I have to say, uh, I really enjoyed going through all these uh, wonderful pictures and uh, for me, uh, a photographer who has visited our island many times, I love your country, I love your landscapes, and it was a real joy for me to go through the pictures and, and relive some of my trips that I'd done. I did recognize quite a few of the locations, and uh, uh, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm very envious of you all having a lot of these uh, fantastic Irish landscapes on your doorstep. That's perfect. I was very impressed with the overall standard of the images in the competition. There were some fantastic pictures here, uh, and I had to make some really, really difficult choices. Um, but I found really, because I've judged many competitions in my career, that generally speaking, pictures jump out at you. And the pictures that really stand out in any competition are those that show a unique vision. Uh, I think the most difficult thing that we photographers do is seeing the actual picture. The bit of what we do with the camera, uh, how we use the camera, uh, the technicalities can all be learned. But that business of seeing the potential of a scene is what this game of photography is all about. Uh, and we do, or I do, when I'm judging competitions, see a lot of pictures that are quite similar. So when you get a, a picture that's, that, that belies a really unique photographic vision, it jumps out at you. And that was definitely the case with this competition too. So the first time I opened up all the images, all the entries in Lightroom, and I went through them, there was one picture that jumped out at me straight away, and that is the overall winner. And it's a fantastic picture by Seamus Mulcahy of Drumlusker Cottage. I thought this was a fantastic picture because it had so much mood. It's a really evocative image. It just, I've got it on the screen here. And, uh, to my side, my second screen. And looking at it now, I love the way the track leads you into the frame. I love the way the photographers used that subtle, moody, somewhat subdued light. The colors are muted and yet very, very rich. Uh, and, uh, and also the sky is, is full, of, full of drama. So that I thought was a superb image and a worthy winner. So I'm looking now at the second place image of the Skellix by Neely Curtin, and it's a wonderfully minimalist picture. Uh, this so nearly won. Uh, I think it's quite a brave picture as well because it's a very high key image. Uh, all the tones are very light. Uh, there's not a pure black anywhere in the picture. It's all different tones, mid tones to high, high key tones. And yet it's, again, it's beautifully observed. It all comes back to that photographer's vision, having the, having the courage to go for something so simple and so minimalist. And I think it works so, so well. So congratulations there to Neely. That's a, a great picture. It was really difficult choosing between this and the winner and the third place actually. So I'm looking now at the third placed image by you, Mark, uh, Mark Gorman, uh, a wonderful picture. And again, this could so easily have won. Well, I love this picture because in the foreground, you've got this great interest that I love that swirly, the swirly tones of the water there, the movement on that water and that uh, uh, water swirling around in what looks like a sink pot or something like that. And that leads you into the picture as well, the shape of that water. And then you've got that evocative uh, interest of the swimmers in the surf, sharp enough for me to see their human figures, 
but just enough motion blur to give it a kind of mysterious feel and the sky as well and not just a, an interesting sky but the shapes in the sky again take you take the eye into the image and towards the blurry swimmers it's an unusual picture uh, and again it belies that photographer's vision which uh, Mark saw the potential in this in this opportunity and made made this wonderful picture. So, all of those three pictures that I've just mentioned really owe their success to the photographer having that perception to see the potential for striking images in what to many people would seem like a completely innocuous setting. So to all of you, congratulations. Uh, it's been a real pleasure and honor for me to be involved in judging your competition. Uh, all I would say to you is keep on getting out there, getting the boots muddy, keep exposing. Every time you go out with your camera, whether you actually take your camera out of the bag or not, we all learn something about this photographic art that we're all so hooked on and believe it or not after 40 years of pro as a professional professional i still feel i'm learning myself about the endless subtleties of natural light and composition and all the other elements to making which make a successful picture so good luck thank you and keep exposing